Hi, my name is Nick Wingate. I'm the National Trainer for Focal America. The good folks at Pacific Stereo have come by us here at the 2012 CES booth in order for me to let you know just exactly what kind of new product is available from Focal and through our good friends at Pacific Stereo. It's only going to take just a few minutes, but I think you're going to find it to be an exciting line of product that is going to be able to give you years and years of worry-free trouble service for your cars. So let's take a look at something that's really, really cool. So, what we have here is a brand new product that Focal has released for the 12 volt arena. This is coming from the high-end home audio side of Focal, and it's very exciting. We're very, very pleased to announce that we have something for the audiophiles who hate their iPhone because it sounds like you know what. Well, we've solved that problem. Via Wi-Fi streaming, we are going to be able to provide you with the ability to take whatever is recorded on your iPhone via iTunes or your iPad, streaming it Wi-Fi, and being able to give you a high-end audio signal. There are some really interesting characteristics to this piece that I think you'll find very interesting. Internally, inside this little black box, there are two separate power supplies because it gives you maximum stereo separation and it gives you maximum stereo imaging. You also are going to have dual 24-bit, 96 kilohertz digital analog converter chips inside of this. Now, for those of you who don't know what the heck I'm talking about, that basically means this is high-end home audio come to car. And we have something very unique. We have a digital output along with the analog output. So, if you have a home receiver and you would like to be able to stream via Wi-Fi a high-end resolution file directly into your home receiver via your iPhone or, or your iPad, you take the digital output of this, go into your receiver, plug into the digital input, and you're good to go. If you don't have that and you have an analog input, RCAs, you can plug into your home receiver. Now, this is a 12 volt piece. It doesn't mean you can't use it. You can go to a local hardware store, a local radio shack. You're going to get yourself a 12 volt converter, and you can use it. But this is used for the car, and this is really cool because all we have is power and ground right here, and you're good to go. It takes a signal from your phone, looks for it, gives you an acronym that says Car Wi-Fi. That's what this piece is. You type in a password, and you're good to go. And it gives you something extraordinary. And I know a lot of you have been looking forward to something like this so we can actually stream live music in our cars or stream relatively live sounding music in our cars. So this is going to retail for $999, and I'm sure the folks at Pacific Stereo will be more than happy to get one for you. The next thing on the agenda... It's a brand new speaker system that we've released. It's called the 165WRC. This is the entry level into the Beryllium line. Now, I know a lot of you out there remember back in the day, about 10 years ago, Focal had what is known as the Utopia speakers, and we had a very similar price point at $1,995 for the 6.5 inch two way. Well, we brought something very similar in price back. This is $1,995. But as far as performance is concerned, this far exceeds that. This is on the level of beryllium speakers in the number six, number seven, and number five kits. Uh, it uses the same beryllium dome tweeter that we have in the line. It just plays a little bit lower. It's not quite as high. It uses a different frame called the 165WRC frame. It is actually a KR2 frame, for those of you who are familiar with the Kevlar systems. But what we did is we took a, the W sandwich cone, which is this material right here, and we may put it into the system. So it's basically a hybrid between a number six beryllium kit and the KRX2. It is extraordinary in the way this thing performs. Those of you who have had the opportunity, I know these two gentlemen here who are recording me, have actually heard this and they're floored by the resolution and the bass response out of the six and a half inch two way. It's a lot of it's a lot of fun to listen to. And if you get a chance, you need to come by any of your local Focal dealers and get it and, and listen to it, especially the folks at Pacific Stereo. The next thing that's brand new, and we're very, very excited about it, is this. And I'm going to get them to swing the camera with me. And we're going to walk over here, and we're going to show you a product that is going to be launched this summer. It is very unique, and we're very excited by that. This is an integration system that Focal is bringing out specifically for the Volkswagen Golf and Volkswagen Jetta. Uh, this is designed to work with the factory amplification. It is designed to be a drop-in OEM replacement system. You will notice that the housing, I'm going to set this down, that the housing for the tweeter is a direct replacement. That's because it is. This is the exact same piece that Volkswagen uses. What we have done is we put the tweeter into it, 
We've designed this to work in the exact factory location that Volkswagen has in their car. This is our design. It is our tweeter. It is a Focal inverted aluminum tweeter. It is designed optimally for this car. It has been voiced for this car by the Focal engineers. If you take a look at the six and a half inch base driver, those of you who are familiar with the polyglass cone, that's what this is. This is a polyglass driver. It is housed in the, it is the, uh, the exact factory replacement uh, that Volkswagen is using. If you look on the back of the driver, you're going to notice that the crossover network is integrated into it completely. And all you, all they basically have to do is to take this driver, take the factory Molex plug, plug into it, and put it into the door of the car, and it is ready to play. And it, it matches the impedance of the factory amplifier, and it enhances the sound of the car by um, about 350 to 400 percent. It is a marvelous product, and this is the first one of several products that Focal is going to be bringing out over the next few years. We're going to be doing BMW, we're going to be doing Ford, we're going to be doing Chrysler, we're going to be doing Audi, and I can go on. So this is a very exciting time for Focal right now. We are very, very, very happy to have this product out finally. It's been a lot of research and development going into it, roughly about five years. And I think a lot of people are going to be very happy to have this because, I mean, let's face it, how many of us really want to go tear into our cars? Some of us do, a lot of us don't, and this is going to be a direct factory replacement. And the, the beauty of this, and I think a lot of you would be very happy to know this, you don't have to cut a wire. So it's not going to avoid a factory warranty. And we all know how the factories don't like us to go cut wires in cars. Okay? The next thing we're going to talk about, we're just going to talk about is the 165 V15. Now this is in the performance series. It's a polyglass cone. And those of you familiar with the old line, remember the 165 VB. Well, this is the replacement for that system. We've changed a few things on it, and we've added something rather unique. If you are familiar with it, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, that housing, the frame itself, was a composite material of ABS, plastic, and fiberglass. It was very rigid, it was very non-resonant, but it had a tendency to crack. So what they did is they went back and they decided to put what is known as a MAC basket. That's a zinc, aluminum, magnesium composite material. So they built a very strong, rigid frame to make sure that you know, the driver's going to full X max or as hard as it's going to play. It doesn't produce, produce much distortion. Gets a polyglass comb. It's a little bit bigger voice comb on it than the old driver does. It plays a little bit lower, plays a little bit cleaner, plays a little bit louder. We're using the same crossover network as in the old driver and in the same, crop, the same tweeter as, as it was in the old system. Again, this is just a refinement. Vocal decided that this would be a great time to do this. There was a need for this, and so you know they very well responded to it, and we're very happy that they have. We're also bringing out a brand new three-way system. It's called the 165V33. Those of you familiar with the line, the 165VR3, so this is a replacement for it. What they've done is they've upgraded the mid-range driver on it, They've also upgraded the treater on this system, and they have upgraded the six and a half inch base driver. The six and a half inch base driver has a new voice call assembly, has a little bit bigger magnet structure, and a little bit different cone. So it plays a little bit lower, a little bit cleaner, and a little bit louder as well. The next thing we're going to take a look at is going to be something that a lot of you are going to look at and go, now what in the world is in this tube? Well, this is a material that uh, Focal has invented. It is proprietary to them, and it's three layers, a three-layer material that a lot of you would recognize that this is going to be a damping material of some kind. You know, we have a lot of different types of material out there. You know, the folks from Hushmat, the folks from Dynamat, and I can go on, build great product, and it works extremely well. So the Focal engineers, being the consummate professionals that they are, and also being extreme audiophiles, took what they've learned from the home audio side and they've applied it to the car. There are a lot of different materials that they apply inside their home cabinets to cut down resonances and damping and make sure that what the speaker is producing is coming out of that cabinet. Well, they wanted to do that for the cars as well. So they created this material right here and you can see it comes in a very large kit and it's basically called BAMXL. I could go into the acronym and explain what it is but let me just show you what it does. There's three layers here. The first layer, which is a, basically it's a peel and stick, self-adhesive. You peel it and you apply it to the door. You can do the internal door panel, you can do the external door. It, it really doesn't matter if you want to do the whole door with it, which is my personal recommendation. 
But the first layer controls high frequency and low frequency resonances, whereas a lot of different other materials that manufacturers out there have, they only control the low frequency resonances. Well, quite frankly, when you're driving down the highway, don't we dare some higher frequencies that come through the door? Obviously we do. So this is one of the things they took into consideration when they designed this piece. The second thing you're going to notice, those of you who can see this, there is an aluminum barrier here. Now, that aluminum barrier does two things. One, it isolates the high frequency and the low frequencies from this third material, but it also creates a heat barrier. So it, it keeps some energy out of the door because heat has a nasty habit of causing problems inside of a door. And we all know that when you get in the car and it's really freaking hot, half the time it's because the doors are so thin that the heat comes through the car. And how many times in Southern California are we sitting in the heat in the summer dying wishing to God we had an air conditioner in the car? But I digress. I digress. The third layer is a very unique material. And what it does is if it's inside the door skin and the back, drive, the back wave off of the speaker is playing into the door, it literally will dissipate the back wave off of the speaker. It absorbs it and dissipates it. Now, what is that going to do? Well, basically what that does is it keeps all that energy from hitting the back of the speaker cone that keeps it from basically breaking apart. You know, if you start pushing your system really, really hard and you're trying to listen to it at a really loud level and sometimes it sounds really bad and you're thinking, I need to turn it down because the amp's clipping, it's really not the amp clipping, it's because all that energy that's caught in the door is interfering with the way the speaker's working. Well, this material helps absorb it and dissolve it and get rid of it. So this is a very good product. It's a very unique product. And we hope you folks try it because it is worth having in your car, especially if you love the music the way I do. The next thing we're going to talk about is wiring. Whoopie do. It's wiring. Well, I know a lot of you out there will say, it's just wire, Nick. Who cares? Well, maybe not. For years and years and years, companies around the world, and I'm not going to name names, have been building more and more inexpensive wire. Well, I'm sorry, but we're talking about your audio system. We're talking about the electrical system of your car. And if we do not have a clean signal coming from point A to point Z, how in the world are we going to enjoy our system? Well, they took a look at this, and years ago, when I was... I don't want to talk about it. I was in my 20s. We used to get copper wire, real, honest to gosh, copper wire. And it was a pain in the butt to use because it was extremely stiff. We had a difficult time making it work, but because we wanted the best signal transfer of electrical energy to our amplifiers, we had to use it. Well, it's expensive. And we all know how expensive copper is today. People tear houses down to steal the copper, and what happens? Well, they electrocute themselves and die. But it's because copper is expensive, so they don't use it. What do people do? Manufacturers of wire, what do they do? They take aluminum and they integrate it into it. I'm sorry, but aluminum is not the best transducer for an electrical current. It causes problems. The Underwriters Laboratory of America will tell you, you really don't want to wire your house with aluminum. That's a problem. So, the Focal folks decided we're going back to the old way of doing things. So this is 100% oxygen-free copper cable. Now, this is in a complete kit. It has the power, it has the ground, and it has a fusing built into it. So you're going to be able to get your car and wire your car to the best of its ability to produce an electrical signal. Now, this is not inexpensive, but it's not overly expensive. But when you're spending three, four, five, six thousand dollars on your car system, do you really want to skimp on where it all starts? Do you really want to put something in the car that could probably cause a fire hazard? The answer to that is no, you don't. So take your time, do some research, take a look at this, talk to the folks at Pacific Stereo and ask them, why do I really want to use this? And they'll be more than happy to give you the reasons why. Now this is designed for my Kevlar, my Utopia, and my FPS amplifiers. It is an absolute best. I personally recommend it for every amplifier out there. And I've been doing this for 30 some odd years of my life. I really don't want to see anybody go out there and have a problem. Now, but if you're on a budget and you don't need to spend over $150 for your wiring kit, let me show you we have a solution for you. We've also gone out and said, okay, if we're going to do this and we're going to become part of the team that's going to use aluminum in our product, we're going to make sure that it's as good as we can possibly make it. 
So this is our solution. This is a complete wiring kit. It has um, power, ground, fuse, interconnect, speaker cable, turn on cable. It's a complete wiring kit for your car. So this is something that we just got here. It is brand new here at CES. I have not seen any of it yet. I'm going to be brutally honest about it. I have not played with it yet. But given the fact that I know how the Focal engineers are and how much passion they have about the music and talking to them, I know that they researched this. This is a very good product. It's not, in, it's not expensive. It's relatively inexpensive, and it is safe for use to use in your car. Now, the next thing they did was they also decided to build interconnect speaker cable. Now, the speaker cable comes on rolls like this, and you're just going to be in different size rolls, and you're going to be able to get it for your car without any problems. There's 12 gauge, 14 gauge, and 16 gauge wire, and this wire is 100% oxygen free copper cable. That means you're getting maximum signal transfer with the least amount of resistance or inductance or loss when you run it through your car. When it comes to signal transfer from your head unit or your processor to your amplifier, do you really want to take a $8 cable and hook it into your $1,000 amplifier? Stop and think about that. If we're talking about a $1,900 head unit that's your navigation system, it runs your CD player, it runs your DVD, and it's going into your amplifier system, and you've bought an FPS 4160 at $1,150, are you going to use an $8 cable? Really? No. Come on. You want the best, and this is it. Focal designed this specifically to match the FPS amplifiers in our system and for the speakers in our systems. Now this is also 100% oxygen-free copper cable. It is triple sheeted and is available in various different lengths. So the good folks at Pacific Cherry will be more than happy to help you decide what proper length would work in your car and which particular design would work best for you. Last but not least, uh, we just kind of say the best for last. Everybody likes bass. Everybody likes sub bass. It's fun. It's enjoyable. It moves things. And we really don't want to talk about what it moves. So let's just go on from there. This um, is a brand new amplifier. This is a brand new Focal FPS 3000. This is a Class D monoblock chassis amplifier design to move your subwoofers with the best possible signal we can possibly build. You're looking at 1500 watts in the two ohms right here. And when we build subwoofers that are at 18 inches, have four voice calls on them, we handle 1000 watt nominal, 2000 watt peaks and produce 150 dB signal noise, excuse me, SPL levels on a car. You gotta have amplifiers to do it. Well, here it is. This is three years worth of research and development that has come to fruition. It is uh, a very powerful amplifier. It's not a huge monster surfboard, so it will fit in your car. Being Class D, it is very efficient. It means you don't have to have an extra alternator or an extra battery in your car to drive this thing. So if you like to go out and hear the music at the club levels, then I know we all do. We all like to have a lot of fun. And in fact, that's what this is all about. We're gonna have a lot of fun. This is the amp you need to drive your subs. It's not inexpensive by any stretch of the imagination. No. Is it $5,000? No. It's somewhere in between. It is a classic product. It is something that's going to last a very, very long time. And the good folks at Pacific Stereo will be more than happy to help you understand just exactly if you need one of these. And if you do, how to install it or get the professionals at Pacific Stereo to install it for you. Thank you very much. We appreciate your attention. Have a nice day.